Wheatstone Bridge. In 1843, Charles Wheatstone he developed a circuit in order to measure unknown resistance and with a reference to standard known resistor. So we have a standard known resistance. With respect to that, he was able to know the value of an unknown resistor, and this circuit was known as Wheatstone Bridge. So this Wheatstone Bridge network is like this. The bridge has four resistor arms. This is R1, R2, R3, and R4. And they are forming a closed loop. The source of EMF is connected to A. See, this is the EMF source. It is connected to A, which is common point of R1 and R3. And C, which is common point of R2 and R4. right? And there is a sensitive galvanometer in between. Here, there is a galvanometer which is connected to point B and D, okay? And B is the common point. B is the common point of R1 and R2 and D is the common point of this R3 and R4. So, three resistors out of four are known and fourth one is unknown, right? So, the three resistors are chosen in such a way that the galvanometer shows zero reflection right now. So, in this condition, the potential at point B and D are same because there is no movement of the galvanometer, there is no flow of current. So, this condition of Wheatstone Bridge is a balanced condition right now. So, when we apply the Kirchhoff loop, we can take loop like A, B, D, A. So, we are taking A, B, and then D and A. So, what we will do here is let us, we are moving in the current direction I1 into R1, there will be a drop. Then we are coming. To this side, there will be an addition. The current is going like this. Well, there will be I2 into R2 because we are in, moving in the opposite direction. So, it will be addition. So, I1 R1 equal to I2 R3. Now, we will take B, C, D, A, B, C, D, B, B, C, D, and B. So, when we are taking B, C, D, B, we are moving in the direction of the current. So, we'll, there will be a voltage drop because of R2. So, minus I1, I1, R2, minus sign. Then, we are moving in the opposite direction of current. So, there will be plus I2 R4. So, when we take this on the right hand side, I1 R2 will be equal to I2 R4. Now, this these two equations we will divide. So, we get R1 by R2 equal to R3 by R4 and by knowing three resistors, if we know any three resistor, fourth can be easily found out.